friends welcome back to the basswood carving channel all right uh yeah it's been a minute since i've been on with a carving video but i've got a few coming up for you it's halloween so you know i'm gonna do a pumpkin uh for sure i got one it's pretty cool um but today i did this a while back um carved this a while back this was for my little niece she wanted a parrot um, like her bird and I think her bird's name is Rosie. I think she wanted a Rosie But I wasn't sure what colors Rosie was so I painted this one up and she loved it And she wanted to take it and I said you can't have it yet. I gotta do a video first um, And I think I've seen this on Pinterest. I just changed it around a little bit I gave him some bigger feet and put some details on the wings and stuff But this one I'm gonna do a little different uh, I'm gonna put a little tuft of hair on top of him and possibly a tail because um, you don't have the tail feather we'll see how that goes um, but anyway uh, let's get started with this video today we're going to use a block that is one by one point five one and a half by one and a half by three point five and this one I did out of a three so um, you can if you don't want to put the you can put a little smaller head and put the tail on there the head feathers on there if you only have a, a a three inch block but I, I made this one three and a half just so I'd have a little more room at the top um, and I want to give him a little bigger a little longer beak um, so it we're going to use the corner of the block for the nose um, so I got it already drawn out and uh, let me run through these real quick for you just so you know um, we're going to go a half inch from the bottom and then we're going to go two inches from I think I went from here two inches from the bottom so put you a mark inch and or half inch then two inches and then three and a quarter if you're using the three three and a half size block so put you a little quarter inch up there at the top and then go ahead and put all your centers in all right I'm gonna I already did this off camera just so I could get everything speed up these videos a little bit I know they're long and I can tell from the view time that everybody don't watch the whole videos which is fine um, some people watch them if they're carving along with it um, but um, I'm gonna try to make a little shorter videos just for you guys to so you don't have to scroll through so much um, but anyway that's what we're gonna start with so we're gonna lay the rough these out and um, we're gonna make this little parrot I think this one's gonna be blue and yellow it's gonna be more of a blue and yellow macaw um, so yeah let's get started um, I'm going to start off by notching out the bottoms just get the feet laid out a little bit and I worked for, when I did this original one I wasn't sure about the head what I was going to do so I worked from the bottom up at least just laying it out and stuff um, so um, let's go ahead and just do what we normally do just notch all these in get our hard edges off of there and um, I'll probably do a little bit more of the uh, time lapse just to speed them up a little bit Cause this is all pretty pretty simple stuff you guys have been watching the videos you know how to do all this stuff already um, it's really the detail that you want to get into so I'm kind of gonna speed these videos up a little bit just by going into time lapse and probably leaving out a little bit just bringing bringing you back when I got something done um, I can really produce more videos if I'm doing doing it that way um, sometimes it might take you know 15 to 20 hours just to get a video out by the time I do all the carving on it recarve it if I have to um, talk too much through the video um, a lot of editing just to get down to the final product so I want to try to cut that out some um, and then I got some other stuff coming up for you guys um, Yesterday we hit 3,000 subscribers, and to me that is just crazy. Um, I never would have dreamed that I would have got the 3,000 subscribers. Up here, I'm just going to make a V cut. I never would have dreamed. So thank you guys for all your support. I appreciate it, and I'm going to do more videos since we're getting more and more subscribers I know you guys want more and more projects and more and more more and more quick carves is what I call them I mean 
right here don't notch this one yet just do these three sides on there and let's go to the top but yeah I really appreciate you guys support it's just been amazing um, I started out this channel just as something to document my journey same way right here I'm gonna leave this a little bit till I get ready to come down to it because um, I want to put the little little uh, feathers at the top and I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that yet because I haven't done one of these yet so um, but yeah I started out just wanting to document my journey um, my wood carving journey and uh, it's just been it's just been amazing right here at the top I'm just gonna put a come down a little bit and leave that point be careful right here so you don't chip it off um, but yeah I just want to thank everybody for all your support it's just um, it's just overwhelming that I got 3,000 subscribers I know I'm not I know there's a lot more channels out there with a lot more subscribers but for me it was kind of a, a milestone just to hit a thousand subscribers and without me getting any content out I'm still getting subscribers and so it's just been crazy um, and I'm trying to do things that not everybody else is doing um, you know I try to give you a lot of information about carving you know tools and wood and, and what other carvers to watch and um, I really enjoy doing the podcast meeting carvers and getting a chance to talk to them um, finding out about their journeys so but again I want to thank everybody and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe let's let's get to my next goal which would be 5,000 I guess um, So I really appreciate you guys. I can't say that enough. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, carve away on this guy. And time lapse this up a little bit. And we'll get these feet cut in here. And uh, I'll bring you back when we get to some, some detail stuff.
Okay, I think I got her pretty well shaped up to start with. We'll put the wings on here in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and work on the feet a little bit. Um, you'll notice I put notches um, pretty much in all the centers. Um, and the reason I did that was because on his feet, we got some notches where he's got his toes and that, but I stepped it in just a little bit. Plus I wanted to make sure that I didn't go too deep. Um, so we're going to take a little bit of this off and start rounding the feet a little bit. Um, now I have to really pay attention to where my front is, which this is my front, so I'm going to start there first. And I'm basically just going to round this down a little bit. And I took a minute to run uptown, and since I had to stop, I thought I would just... Uh, Take a minute and uh, look this guy over. And I see some things that I gotta take care of. But I remembered that I put that in there and I thought people might want to know why I put those notches in there and I didn't say nothing. But. mostly just to help me keep centers because I, I, I knew I got to take more off of it anyway so that was really the reason and I'm trying not to break a big hunk off I knew I'd be taking most of it off anyway get it too small because I don't want it falling over. And I gotta remember to put my little tail feathers in there.
okay we're gonna put a little spot here for our, for our tail feather just so we know not to cut that off feet once we get the body and the wings okay so let's go ahead and just put our wings in before we take our tops off here so we know and we can make the head fit into the wings a little bit because um, you can see it comes up to the right up under the bill okay so just going to pencil these in and you can notice I left it kind of wide right there so I got plenty to work with um, and we know this is our center of the body right here so we're going to kind of make the wings rounded right here towards the front and then bring it back It's probably the most trickiest part is just getting it laid out because you don't have a pattern or nothing but get what you like if you like a big chest you know or if you just want the big bold wings I'm gonna put a little more a little more chest on him and always start bigger because you can always take it down a little bit now I want these to go towards the back, by the back of his feet. So basically we can do it like this. We can come up here and we can draw. this one come to here and then this one will fold into here out here in the front so we're basically using our center lines and you can play around with this as you as you start shaping out the body a little bit like I said I always like to start bigger and then take it down if I want to so right here from the center we're going to make a little that way and right here from the center we're going to make a little bit to the center of the block and then look at it from the front it looks like this side's in a little more Like that. 
because I never even really had a pattern or I just drew some things out and just carved along on that one um, so I don't usually don't carve like four or five of them this carve one and if I like it I'm like okay let's do a video on this little guy and it might look a little different but that's fine with that actually I'm going to use my little detail knife my little dunkel knife I get asked about this knife all the time this is John Dunkel his company I'm going to hold my knife kind of at a slant because you can see that we want to tuck the wing the body under the wing shape and once we get the body and everything we'll do a little more work on it but originally when I carved the other one I was wanting to do this and then I rounded it all off and it's like she didn't leave nothing for my tail my little tail feathers
okay we got the back mark in there we're going to be doing rounding off and all that so we still got to take some more off down here just to blend it in that little curvature in but then always keep in mind that like when you're doing detail stuff like this adding in these layers you know you're going to be thick and then until you start going in there and taking those layers down and stuff then then you can really get cleaned up and get everything shaped up and looking really good but first you just want to really I mean I do anyway that's the way I do it it's just and everybody's got their own different ways some people like to take out big hunks at a time but you develop your own your own style I think sometimes that's why my videos are longer just because I like I enjoy just sitting here cutting pieces of wood out little bits at a time like I've said in videos before for me I enjoy like the little clean up and the details of getting putting those final little things in getting all these little slivers out that's just how I end up with my final final carving so, hey, to each his own they say cut the front end and then I'll start working on the body a little bit off camera so this video ain't so long
All right, let's uh, let's get this head rounded off. So we'll definitely speed this up because this is just a rounding procedure that you guys have done before. And just going to leave on the back up here at the top for the little for the little head feathers, headdress. All right, so I'm going to bust through this. And then we'll do the wings and the face. And we'll be about done. Ready for paint. Okay, we draw a starting point just for the shape of the face right here. And then we'll start cutting that back in and kind of blend these two together. I probably won't take that much off at the top right there. I think I'm gonna make this guy with a little bigger, a little bigger head. So just wanted to tell you how we was drawing that out. However, I have to even it up a little bit as I go along. But Always start big, work your way down. Okay, going on and uh, cut these down. Got the head shaped out. Uh, make the nose a little smaller. Just a little different. Just something a little different on each one. Um, so we got to put the eyes in. I went on and did the layered the feathers back here. We'll put a little detail on that. Um, got to wrap up all the little details, little toes, and uh, put the wing details in. But let's put the the eye in. And for the eye, I like to use. If I want a perfectly round eye, or pretty much start off with a good round eye, I like to use these punches, and I got this punch set here from Harbor Freight. It's just a Pittsburgh. It's got all different sizes in it, and they're, they're fairly sharp and enough to make a good, uh, a good little circle. Um, so let's put his eyes. Out right up here, a 
we will die. Just so we know where kind of the centers are, and it's a little low. And this is the one I used on that one, so what I'm going to do is put this down so I can kind of see through it. I know it's probably hard to see on camera, but I can see through it, and I kind of center that up right there. And the first time, I'll just kind of push it down on there, give it a little twist, and if it looks pretty good, I'll go back and put it back on there, and then really push down on it real hard. Yeah, and then come over here, same thing on the other side look down in there I can see it's kind of centered push it on and I'll look at them that one looks a little a little low so I'm going to go a little bit higher That's why I don't push it down really hard till I know for sure that's where I want it. Because I can just come back and clean that off a little bit. Alright, let's try this again. It's kind of hard doing it with the camera in the way. So let me take it back a little bit. see it so I'll go ahead and cut that so I'm going to use a little V tool got a little V tool here and I'm just going to follow that around Okay, so we got the eyes in. Got the head all shaped up. Alright, next we're going to put his little detail on his beak right there. So I kind of started with a point which was in the center. 
So we got our center line going. Right there. And I just roll up. Make a little swoop up. Into a little hump. Same thing on this side. Let's try getting the same. Same thing, I'm just gonna take the little B tool. Cut that in there a little bit.
Okay. This nose was a little more narrow. I don't know if I said that at the beginning, but. Um, up and deepen it up a little bit but I think we're all done with the head um, clean that up a little more sometimes these end grains when you hit that end grain <laughs> gets a little a little hard and then it, sometimes it wants to chip away on you if it's real soft wood this is not a bad piece of wood, it's just certain areas. All right. Let's see, let's put his, uh, put his toes in there. Find the center of his toe. stop cut in there or V cut whatever whatever you want to use if you want to use the V tool his toes look like they're hanging on. I think all we got left now is just to put the little layers on the feathers and we'll be all done except for cleaning up and paint yeah he's definitely gonna look a little different but you know there's the two options that you have if you want to do one A little bigger too. Once I use a bigger piece of wood, but I'll we'll clean up. I'll clean up all that off camera. And get the eye looking good. But you get the general idea. I could spend hours here doing all this, but I'm just trying to give you the idea. Here, just made a series of M's.
you can do the bigger ones at the top and then make them smaller as you go down got five I got three up there five down here so we'll do five down here bottom we just made cuts right there Again, just cut it in a little bit just so you can always go back and change it without getting getting it too deep till you get what you like and they don't even have to be perfect on both sides because I think that kind of makes it a little more have a little more character if it's not exactly the same that's the fun about it really is that you don't have to worry about being too perfect. Sometimes we get too hung up on making things, worrying about making things look the same on both sides exactly. And I think sometimes when you do these fun little little carves they always have their own uniqueness if you don't do everything exactly the same Okay, we're just laying them in there a little bit. I've got plenty of wing here. It's pretty thick, so uh, even if I mess up a little bit, you can come back and Erase it off with your knife and redo it.
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and deepen this up, clean it up a little bit, get some paint on it, and we'll bring you back and wrap this video up. All right, so here's the final piece. Little parrot's all done, little macaw. All right, I went in and put a little more detail on his chest and on his back. Just used my little V tool for that. Um, but uh, yeah, he's all done. Cleaned up the eyes a little bit, cleaned everything up just a little bit. Getting ready for paint. I'll probably paint this in a separate video, which you guys have probably already seen what he looks like from the thumbnail. But um, yeah, turned out pretty good. It was a fun little project. Um, hope you guys enjoy carving one or two or five or however many you want. Um, but yeah, it's it fun. Um, so if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, please subscribe. Smash that like button. Give us a thumbs up. Ring that notification bell so you get notified when we put up our next video. And uh, hopefully I can inspire you to pick up a knife and a block of wood and carve something today. Thanks for watching.